Hello, it's Tessie Faye, the modern homemaker, and today we are talking about male clutter. So how to keep a handle on all of that paper that comes into our house from our mailboxes every day. So recently I've had a couple of people ask me about this, have questions about this, and I didn't have a good answer right off the bat because honestly, my husband deals with all of the mail and the paper clutter. He's fabulous. We've been married for 24 years and I know it's, it's great that he does it. And so I was thinking I really needed to talk to him and figure out his system because he does a fabulous job and we do not have a lot of mail paper clutter in our house. So I sat down with him, his name is CJ, and we talked all about his system for dealing with the mail and the paper clutter. And honestly, it's kind of genius. I was amazed at how simple it is and how effective it is. So I'm really excited to share it with you today. So this is CJ's mail system in four easy steps. So first step, he goes outside, checks the mail. While he's walking back to the house, he flips through the mail and filters out the, the junk, the things that he knows are junk, and he drops it in the recycling bin in the garage before he even gets into the house. I was like, seriously? I mean, oftentimes I check the mail, but I just bring it all in and I just plop it all on the table. <laughs> By doing that, like 50% or 75% of the mail doesn't even make it into the house. So it's like brilliant. So that's step number one is don't let the junk mail even get into the house. Step number two is to immediately open everything. Take everything out of the envelopes and throw away the envelopes. The reason CJ does this is because it cuts down on the paper bulk. And also as you're doing that, you'll find more things that you can throw away. So that step number two is just opening everything right away and throwing away the envelopes. Okay, number three, he takes the things that are left and he puts them into one of two trays. So on his office desk, he has two stackable trays. You can find these all over, Target, Amazon, they look like this, they are a super simple letter tray. So he has a top tray and a bottom tray. In the top tray goes anything that needs an action and that's time sensitive. So this could be something like bills to pay or something we need to RSVP to or something that needs to be added to the calendar or insurance or vehicle tabs or anything that he wants to take a closer look at but isn't ready to right now. That all goes in the top folder. So it's something that needs to have an action that he needs to do something with and it's something that's time sensitive. Now, the bottom folder, that is for the things you're not quite sure what to do with. So it's your like indecision bin. It's something you wanna keep, but you're not quite sure what to do with it, or maybe you need to keep it for a little while, but maybe not forever. And it goes in this bottom bin. So if you're not quite sure what to do it, with it, and it's not super time sensitive, then it goes in that second bin. Then the final step, step four, of course, is you have to spend regular time cleaning out those bins. So CJ likes to do it twice a week, at least once a week, minimum. Ideally, he does it twice a week. And he always starts with the top bin and goes through that with the intention of getting through and getting rid of everything in that top bin. So going through it, dealing with it, and then either throwing it away, shredding it, or filing it. And then after he has gone through the top bin, then if he has time, he'll go through the bottom bin. The bottom bin isn't quite as urgent, and so he doesn't get to it as often. Sometimes it can go a week or two weeks without going through the things in the bottom bin, but he likes to check that periodically, see what he wants to keep, if there's anything he can get rid of, anything that can be dealt with, anything that's expired, and deal with it that way. So that's it. 
Super simple, right? Just a two tray method, just two trays on his desk and dealing with that once or twice a week. I thought it was genius. I honestly want to get a couple of trays for my office, for my desk, because I'm kind of more of a pile person where I have lots of piles everywhere. And I love this two tray method. So I'm going to try it. If you want to try it, I have linked a bunch of super cute trays and bins from Amazon that I would recommend. And I thought they were fun. So you can check those out. Also, let me know if you try it and how it works out for you. And I would also love to hear what are your strategies for dealing with the paper clutter. Tell me in the comments below. I hope you have a fabulous week. I will see you next week. Bye for now.